right so you know this isn't the first time i've actually did a true transfer typically before i would just run trenches right up alongside all the way down to the cases had one or two of them like that before and somebody asked me what's the difference between a boost ported and this latest one which is not really that late i just made it more fancy uh haven't tied it in yet and somebody says it's gonna snag ring no it's not i beg to differ because see those that hole that and that mark that's inboard of the ring dowel pins and the ring end gaps and leave that center part for ring support right so as long as i'm inboard and you could see the cylinder moves a little bit but i am inboard the snags ring so what and as you can see the transfers just close and that's where mine are and at bdc that's exactly where the floors are another thing you need to be mindful of before you go tying it in is the location if you choose uh, a higher transfer duration your cylinder is going to be up more so you can't tie it in below that bottom ring at BDC it's just common sense stuff I just don't randomly grind but I'd leave a little tick mark below that and that's what that little line there represents typically I'd go to that port all the way down and that way it's or you can come down and tie it into the transfer either way it's not enough trench to feed the port but it won't snag a ring as long as you stay inboard of the width come down that right alongside the port either tie it in below that mark boom or like i used to do was just in mill a whole trench right down alongside that port uh, the difference is this is truly a transfer. It's fed from the crankcase or the transfer. This is a boost port. It's fed by the window, right? So one does one work equally better than the other, and I, I very doubtful because there's so much, so little room for trench area in there. I don't know how much volume, but it's under pressure, so. They want to know what's the difference between a boost port and the extra transfers. And that would be, this isn't fed yet, but it'd either be fed by the transfer or by the crankcase. Isolated alone, the intake port still works by itself. So these are true transfers, and this would be considered a boost port. Are they necessary? No, they're not. It's just somebody... Showed me a picture of his thing, and I figured I'd do one similar. That's all. That That's simple. But, you know, like I said, where they're located, how wide they are, and being isolated determines that they're a true transfer.